So all episode long, we've been testing things that go horribly wrong in the house. For this story, we've got a bit of a twist. We're doing two things that go horribly wrong, except that they cancel each other out. Go on. Well, first you've got to picture a house that has a faulty hot water heater, a situation we know is very, very dangerous. At the same time as the water heater is about to blow, a fire starts. Then in some crazy coincidence, just as the fire is reaching its peak, the water heater explodes and bang, no more fire. All right, here we go, set in the fire. Three, two, one. Uh oh, worked like a charm. That worked, holy crap. Oh, wow. Inside the house, the flames quickly take hold. The smoke is obscuring. It's still going strong, but it's obscuring my upper camera. And with the fire raging and the water heater at 300 PSI, they're ready to fight one disaster with another. All right, Jamie, I'm going to give you the countdown. Are you ready? You got a good fire? Yeah, I got a good fire. All right. Here we go. Fire in the hole. We are going to blow this hot water heater in five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on back in. Come on, come on, water heater. Oh! It's up, it's up, it's up. I don't see, I see it. I see it, it's coming down. Wham! It landed on the land. <laughs> there, there's no house left. I don't see any fire, though. I see some smoke. That was clearly a household disaster. And initially, it looks like the water heater extinguished the fire. However, once the dust settles... Looks like we still have a little bit of a fire. Doesn't look like the water heater helped out very much. Fire Chief, for your information, uh, we have extinguished the fire, but there's still some smoldering, so uh, you know, a little water here and there would take care of the well, finishing it off. And as the fire crew put out the smoldering wreckage... This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> it's clear an exploding water heater is not a fire extinguisher.